So what are we going to do to assess your vertigo when you come in? Um, there's one simple test that I'm going to demonstrate to you, just so you know what to expect. Now, this test may or may not provoke some of your dizziness and your vertigo, which can be kind of scary, but that's okay. If it does provoke it, that actually gives me some really good information that I can work with to help treat you. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate one of the tests. This is called the Dix Hall Pike. So, um, Cassidy here, she's having some vertigo with, um, you know, rolling over in bed. So I'm going to test to see more specifically what's going on and how I can help. So I'm going to have you start here. You're going to turn your head just to about there and look up a little bit for me. Perfect. Now I'm going to put my arm across your shoulder. You can grab the back of my arm just for some support. And then when I count to three, we're going to lie back and your head's going to hang off the table. Okay. okay. I want you to keep your eyes open. I'm going to be looking at your eye movements to see if there's any of these what we call jumpy eye movements or okay. nystagmus is the fancy word. <laughs> um, we're going to look at that and that'll help me determine how to treat you. Okay. okay, so you can kind of see here. I'm going to support your head and then one, two, three. We're going to come back, 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 back. Good. And then extend that head down here. Perfect. I'm going to bring my hand around here. Good. So now is where I'd be looking at your eyes, kind of see if they're making any jumpy movements. This might be where you get dizzy, but that's okay. If we see some of that dizziness, um, we're going to go right into a treatment maneuver. Okay. All right. Excellent.